The story of the magic coat. In a city named Ramnagar, there lived a man called Karan. Karan was frantically looking everywhere for a job after having completed his studies. But he does not get a job anywhere. One day, Karan gets a magic coat. Upon getting this coat, his whole life transforms completely. Once upon a time in a city named Ramnagar, there lived a man named Karan. Karan lived there with his old parents and his sister. Karan's parents had managed to complete Karan's education with a lot of hardship. Karan went out job hunting every day. But every day he came back home with only disappointment. One day, Karan was on his way back home tired and exhausted. Hey, how are you today, sir? I'm perfectly fine. This is my coat. Kindly clean this properly and iron it nicely by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I have to go and search for a job. So kindly ensure I get it by then, please. Hey brother, you do not worry at all. You will get the coat tomorrow before time. Karan leaves his coat there and starts going towards his house. After a while, magician Samrat goes there. He gives his coat to the laundry person and says, I have a magic show tomorrow, so please clean and have this ironed on time. I will collect it tomorrow. Saying so, he left the laundry shop. Karan reaches his house completely exhausted. Oh son, you are home? How was your day? Don't even ask about it, mother. Everywhere they are just talking and discussing. I really do not know when will I get a good job. Oh son, do not be so sad. God will show you the right path for sure. Now only he is my last resort. Tomorrow I am supposed to go somewhere for an interview, mother. With God's grace, I hope I get a job there. Do not worry, my dear son. God will make everything right. Karan falls asleep soon. And the next morning, he wakes up early and goes job hunting. Karan goes to the laundry man and asks for his coat from him. Brother, the coat that I gave you yesterday for cleaning, please give that to me. I am really getting late today. Yes, brother, take it right now. The laundry man mistakenly gives magician Samrat's coat to Karan. Karan pays him and hurriedly leaves for his interview. When Karan puts his hands in his pockets to pay the auto driver, he remembers that he left his wallet back at home. He thinks to himself that he should have remembered to take his wallet and suddenly his pocket swells. And then when he puts his hand into his pocket, he gets his wallet inside the pocket and brings it out in disbelief. Oh my! How did this happen? I had left my wallet at home. He pays the auto driver and moves forward. Then Karan again looks for a job the whole day and then like every day, he returns home in despair. On the way, he sees a beautiful sari shop. And he thinks to himself, I really wish that I had a lot of money with me. Then I could have given mother a sari as a present. But look at my fate, I don't even have a good job. The moment he thinks about all this, his pocket starts buzzing again. His wallet gets filled with a lot of money suddenly. He gets startled again. But this time, he somehow realizes that all of this is happening due to the coat. He goes to the shop and buys saris for his mother. He goes home and gives the saris to his mother. His mother becomes very happy upon receiving the saris from him and tells him, Oh my dear son, these are such beautiful saris. But how did you buy them? Did you get a job? No mother. I do not have any job yet, but you can say that we've won a lottery now. Now I won't search for a job, I'll start a business of my own. Oh wow, my son, but to start a business, one needs a lot of money. Where will you get so much of money from? Mother, as I already told you, I've hit a jackpot. The money is not about to come to me, it's already with me. The mother asks, but how did that happen? Mother. The coat that I'm wearing right now is a magical coat. And whatever you wish for while wearing this, it all comes true immediately. Oh, is this for real, my dear son? Don't fool me, please. And then Karan tells his mother, Mother, I will show you right away. 
Karan thinks to himself that it would be great if he could give some jewelry to his mother. The moment he thinks of this, his pockets get full with a lot of jewelry. He takes them out in his hand and shows them to his mother. His mother gets very happy on seeing this and she tells Karan, Son, this coat really seems magical. But be careful so that no one outside gets to know about this magical thing or else it could be dangerous. Okay mother, I will be careful. The next day Karan wears the coat and thinks and wishes that he gets a lot of money in his pockets so that he can start his business with it and also give jobs to lots of people in need and immediately his pockets get full with lots of money. Karan opens a shop of his own. Karan's shop runs very smoothly and a lot of customers start coming to his shop too. As soon as Karan's business starts running well, the other shopkeepers start thinking, where did Karan get so much of money from suddenly? And then they start getting jealous of him. One day while Karan was taking money out of his coat, the adjacent shop's owner notices him doing so and understands where Karan gets so much of money from. One day, Karan removes his coat and hangs it in the shop since he was feeling hot. The moment he does that, the adjacent shop owner steals the coat and wears it immediately. Raju shopkeeper feels very happy on having stolen the coat and he thinks that he too would become very rich now and he would also be able to spoil Karan's business. Raju shopkeeper wears the coat and thinks and wishes that he gets a lot of money. But nothing happens. He thinks again and wishes that he gets a lot of money and that he becomes the most rich shopkeeper. But again nothing happens. Raju goes and hangs the coat back in Karan's shop in anger. After some days, magician Samrat comes to Karan's shop while searching for his coat. Brother, I think one of my coat has been delivered to you by mistake. Would you please return my coat back to me? Karan understands that the magician is talking about his coat. And Karan tells the magician, Yes, your coat is with me, sir. But now you can take it back with you. I know that, brother. That is why I have come to take it back. I had left it at the laundry shop purposely. This coat fulfills only their wish, those who ask with a pure heart and nothing else. Besides you, a lot of other people have asked for many things, but they did not get anything. It only fulfills their wish, those who are in real need, but they are not greedy. Your wishes were granted because you worked hard. Now I'll have to take it back so that it can fulfill others' wishes too. You can take it back, sir. Now I do not need it anymore. The magician takes his coat back and disappears from there. And Karan earns a lot of money and becomes a very successful businessman.